Hey, Cole MF. Do you ever wonder, ever think that we're sometimes wandering aimlessly through the world? Not knowing necessarily what that role, what the role that we play, what God wants us to do in this world. It's always asking about a sense of purpose. And sometimes we actually don't see what's in front of us. We don't take the opportunities that are presented to us. You know, in Deuteronomy in chapter 26, verse 8, it reads, God freed us from Egypt by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and awesome power and by signs and wonders. You know, God gave us these signs. And yes, we had the 10 plagues, but there was more than that. You know, there are signs that God's placed in our world, pushing us, guiding us to go in a certain way, to make choices that will lead us to the next stage of our lives. I've always believed, I've been a very deep believer that God's planted signs all over for us. That we sometimes wonder where we're going in our lives and we're looking for it. But what if God has planted that seed? God has planted that sign in front of you and you can't even see it. You don't even know where it is because you're not paying attention. And yes, we can say, ah, you know, what are you talking about? I'm living fully awake in my life. But that's what we tell ourselves, right? The month of Elul is about looking in and doing that accounting of the soul. But what if we're actually just skating across the surface of our lives? We're not actually engaging deeply in the world. And there have been signs that have been thrown at us and we don't even see it. One of my favorite stories is that story of the evacuated town. And there's a guy living there and he's not going anywhere. He's a man of faith. And the evacuation notice comes and says, everybody get out of town. There's a big storm coming. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'll wait. God will let me know when it's time to go. So the floodwaters rise and it gets deeper. He's got to go, you know, up a little further on the second floor of his house, you know, and, and the Coast Guard comes by with a little boat and says, hey, come on, you're not going to make it. Go now. He's like, no, 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 it's okay. God will let me know when it's time to go. And the floodwaters rise. He has to go on his roof of his house. And the helicopter flies over and drops the ladder and says, hey, it's your last shot. Come on, jump on, jump on. Come with us, we'll save you. He goes, no, no, no. God will let me know when it's time to go. So the floodwaters rise, he dies, and he gets his audience with God. And, and he said, God, look, you know, I've always been a man of faith. I believe. Why didn't you help me? What was going on? Why didn't you tell me? And God says, listen, Schmuck, I sent you the evacuation notice. I sent you the Coast Guard and I sent you your own private helicopter. You didn't pay attention. You didn't listen. And it's one of those moments that what if those signs are right in front of us that will lead us to the next stage, the next part of our lives to find that additional meaning and inspiration and purpose. Ultimately, those signs and wonders are around us. We have to pay attention. Just keep your eyes open. Look for those opportunities. They may be there and you didn't even notice it. Good luck and may that sense of purpose come your way.